One, two, three, and just stand up and shake your legs out. Okay, very good. That's the basics. When you hit with the crescent kick, you're hitting again with the sole of the foot. Okay? So somebody might be coming in with a punch or a kick and you're knocking it out of the way. That's one application. You can deliver this as well as a strike. So I could come in and use it to a leg, to collapse a leg. I could use it in, well you have to have a little flexibility, a little more skill, but I could use it into the rib cage as well. And then there's the reverse crescent, which I'm not even going to get into right now, but that is used similarly, the opposite part of the foot, and that too can be used to knock away or to come into the body. Or if you're, you know, good enough, you can come up to the head too. And that's the reverse crescent right there, okay? Let's forget about that for now. We don't need to know that. I show it to you to see down the road, if you aspire to that, that's something that you can do. But for now, let's just get the basics. So remember, you always have to be ready because after you do the crescent kick, you're here, you might come up with a side kick. Even before that, you might be here, you might go crescent, side kick. 